Pepperoni salad. A small or large? No, I'll get it myself. macaroni salad yep like usual we always start bad cat paralyzed after being shot by an air rifle police are searching for a shooter it's really upsetting how common this is a lot of people go out of their way to abuse stray animals specifically cats because stray cats are more prevalent and more available to be abused than stray dogs or any other animal to be honest it's good that someone came across this cat so the cat can at least live but they're never going to be able to walk and all because somebody was bored and wanted to just terrorize an animal i truly can't think of any other motives that would encourage someone to shoot a cat with an airsoft gun it was probably because they were bored and had nothing else to do and no better way to take up time than to abuse innocent animals to be clear, I don't generally broadcast much of my life on social media, but if you date me and then steal my daughter's dog, and then I have to watch her cry about it every single day, you can be entirely sure that I'm going to let somebody know. This post is the result of a breakup. This guy broke up with his girlfriend and she chose to take the dog with her on her way out. The dog does not belong to her. It belonged to him and his daughter. But according to OP, she thought she had a claim to the dog, so she just chose to leave with the dog. With no thought about how the daughter would feel, and especially how her ex-boyfriend would feel. Because it was the ex-boyfriend's dog. That's an awful thing to do, because at least consider the daughter's feelings. It's one thing to not like your ex, but it's another thing to take a dog away from a child. That is insanely fucked up. And I'd wager that's why you did it. Not only just to hurt his feelings, but maybe even to hurt the kid's feelings too. 13-year-old girl speaks out after bullies set her hair on fire. Anytime I watch movies that take place in high schools or middle schools or just schools in general, I always notice that the bullying is a bit over top. It's always just extra violent for no reason. Like, these kids on screen are essentially committing felonies. But this takes the cake, because setting someone's hair on fire can kill them. You can kill someone like that. Her hair probably will never grow the same ever again. I wouldn't be surprised if her scalp w is partially damaged because of this. And with all that being said, how does this piece of shit kid set this girl's hair on fire in the first place? Did he sneak a lighter into school just to do this? This kid deserves to not only just be removed from the school, but maybe even see a little bit of jail time. The child could have easily killed this little girl. Easily. When I became a military spouse, I thought I would get free stuff. Uh, military spouses deserve drinks for free. Fuck this place. Oh my god, fuck this place. We serve your... <laughs> no, you don't. You do not do anything. All you've done is get married to someone who did serve for their country. You have done nothing. You do not deserve any preferential treatment because like I said before, you have done nothing. Your husband, there's an argument for your husband to get some preferential treatment. And oh my God, I'm a military spouse. It should be free next time. Thank you from a military spouse. It should not be free. And you didn't even tip, you absolute cheap bitch. You didn't tip, are you serious? And to eagle-eyed viewers, you would notice that I've used this image as a thumbnail for r slash entitled parents because it was so bad it caught my eye I was like I have to use this and I had to talk about it here because it's ridiculous the fact that this woman really thinks she deserves some preferential treatment because she married someone who serves in the military no 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 he does he deserves preferential treatment because he's actually serving in the military while you're at home spending his money Hey photographer, is it okay if I post this picture into a Photoshop group to see if my stepson can be removed? If not, completely understand. Thank you. I'm sorry, you want him to be removed? Did we take shots without him? Sure, love, you can do that. I don't mind. Yes, <laughs> I just want one with my boys. And no, we didn't take one without him. Okay, thank you so much. Wow, you are a fucking mom of the year. But in all seriousness, yeah, you're a piece of shit, but this is greater than what your actions were. The implications of all of this is awful. Not only are you a terrible mother, and you don't share the same love that you have for your two sons with your stepson, but you went out of your way to contact the photographer without your husband's knowledge to cut out his son. 
Is he aware that you did this? Does he agree with you? If he does, he's a piece of shit too. But I'm almost certain that he uh, wouldn't agree because that's his son. That's his flesh and blood. I'm almost certain that he would want him to be included in your profile picture on your shitty Facebook page. So I'm going to assume that you did this behind his back because I'm certain if you had a conversation with him about this, if you asked him to remove his son from a family picture so that you can have a picture with only your biological children, he would leave you in a heartbeat. I know I would. I know that other men would. You are awful. And I think you're aware of that because you wouldn't have gone out of your way to ask if you didn't know that there was something wrong with your decision. My dad is abusive, and in seventh grade, he came out as trans, and when he did, he held a gun to his head and said if we didn't support him, he'd shoot himself right there. She. Her. I'm sorry about that, but at least could you use her pronouns? Wouldn't then she be your mom then? Wait, but then wouldn't it be my mom and she? Welcome to the internet, everybody, where someone's sharing their story about child abuse and how their father threatened to commit suicide and abuse them when they were young, but... The important thing here isn't the actual abuse, it's the fact that she misgendered her trans father, who is an abusive person, who threatened to commit suicide if his family didn't support his transition into being a woman. That, that's not the issue apparently, the issue is misgendering. Okay, welcome to the internet, I, I love being here. This clip is of a girl getting bullied, but what makes it worse is that, well, the bullies are her friends. Shut the actual fuck up. Stop. <laughs> okay, you guys have had problems with me all day. Like, I don't get it. Like, why do you have such problems? Yeah, because you need to lose some weight. <laughs> you look so fucking fat. Okay, have you not noticed? Like, you've gained in, like, a week. You gained in 10 pounds. You post me, like, twice a day. Like, you what? Like, like, that's too much. Out with us, it's because of you. They literally told us. And, they like, like, you, they were like, we'll pull up if Ava leaves. Like, no, they didn't. Ava, well, yes, they pull did. Pull up the fucking text, Ava. You look stupid. Like, no wonder they don't snap you back. You guys are supposed to be the ones that are nice to me. Like, Ava, what? It's all okay. Like, why would we be nice to Look you? at your roots. Like, you need to get them done. Like, why are people going to want to hang out with us when we're with you? Like, it's embarrassing. Are you serious? <laughs> free. Yes. Leave my house, then. Okay. Why would you leave? Ava, we only came... This next story is about animal abuse, so if you want to skip to the next one, skip to this time. Yesterday, November 18th, I got a text from a person that was claiming to know where Chapu was, and was trying to get thousands of dollars out of me. The text gave me the address of a local park, and it was there where I found Chaplin's dead body, left by a dumpster. I'm very heartbroken and devastated. The police and Humane Society are investigating this. Thank you to everyone who tried to help me find Chapu. He's dearly missed and loved with all my heart forever. I wish I could say that that isn't abnormal, but in major cities that happens a lot. Especially during break-ins, a lot of people steal dogs and then try to sell them that way or hold them for ransom. It's really terrible, and most of the time the dog is already deceased, regardless if someone actually paid the money or not. OP didn't go into detail about whether or not he paid the ransom. I hope he didn't, but we don't know. It's really sad, because I'm almost certain that he's thinking, if he didn't pay, that he's the reason why his dog is dead. But in reality, that couldn't be farther from the truth. Someone murdered his dog and then tried to extort money out of him, but I'm almost certain that's how he feels. That's a terrible loss, and I truly wish it was rare, but it happens a lot. A lot more than you would think. This is just destructive. Purely destructive. People throwing bicycles and electric scooters into the harbor or into just any waterway because you can this happens in my major city all the time and it's mostly just bored teenagers to be honest and they just pick up scooters and launch them into the harbor and then someone has to go out of their way to clean all that up and that sucks because the harbor is already dirty we already have multiple barges going all throughout the waterways cleaning up trash and stuff and you're just adding to the problem because you have nothing to do but maybe i'm just getting old but when i was younger i didn't think to just destroy shit when I was bored. I would always find something to do that didn't come at the cost of other people. And for some reason, people will think this is funny. They'll go out of their way to throw stuff like this into the harbor, post it online, and think that it's a joke. When in reality, they're just destroying a bunch of merchandise and also a means of transportation for people who don't have cars or bikes. I mean, that's actually pretty useful. I like using electric scooters. It gets me around the city pretty fast. And uh, that's crappy. So stop doing that. If you do that, you're a bad person. Stop it. 
this pisses me off just as much as the previous image. People who leave garbage in movie theaters. Why? It doesn't cost you anything to just pick up your bags of trash and walk it out to the giant garbage cans on the outside of the theater. You realize someone has to clean all that up, right? I've seen people dump whole bags of popcorn on the ground, by accident of course, they drop it, and then just get up and leave when the movie's over. Do these people really think that when they leave the theater, it just self-cleans itself? All the all the garbage that they throw on the floor just magically vanishes? No, a worker has to do that. And they have to do it quickly because the next movie's going to start in 10 minutes. So instead of making somebody else's job even harder, why not just take the trash out to the garbage cans that are meant for trash so that you don't have to ruin somebody's afternoon and make them work harder than they have to? You're not a toddler. You can clean up after yourself. I'm sure you can do it. Just pick up your stuff and go. This next clip is of a guy admitting that he's cheating on his girlfriend and gives his reason for cheating. And like most reasons for cheating, it's fucking pathetic. I told you this for the last Jimmy, minute. you're seriously dating me right now and looking for other girls right now? I'm tapped out of this relationship. If I'm gonna seek something else that's better, that's gonna be better for my mentality. We're still dating! Why Amber, are you looking for other girls? Not for long. Not for you long. Can't have Get a, it through your head. You not can't for have long. the decency to wait till we're broken up to start looking for other girls. Am I putting in any effort into you, any of these girls? You just said. Am I put? Listen, it's the question. Am I putting in any effort for any of these girls? You just said oh you're looking God. for other girls right now. So what if I am, Amber? That is what this relationship has led me to do. Okay. Oh my God! When a guy has bigger boobs than you. <laughs> I bet you make fun of homeless people who go to job fairs too, huh? How are you going to clown on somebody for bettering themselves, doing something that you probably could never do? From the looks of it, this guy has a long journey ahead of himself, and at least he's trying. But no, you're gonna go out of your way to tear him down because him trying intimidates you. Him going out of his way to better his body with so much to do, with so much work to do, intimidates you, I bet. It makes you feel really bad about yourself because maybe you only go to the gym once or twice a week when he probably has to go every single day just to look like you, just to reach your weight. But you know what's funny about this entire post? The fact that you'll go out of your way to clown on this guy but not show your face. I mean, seriously, if you're gonna be bold about talking about somebody's man boobs, at least be out there with your butterface. At least show everybody what you look like. Don't be a bully and a bitch at the same time. That shit is sad. You have to pick one. Bruh, I wish 13, 14, and 15 year old girls weren't allowed to be so hot. Like, I wouldn't feel like such a creeper when I look at them. I'm still 19. Like, that makes any fucking difference. You, you're grown. You're an adult. And you're into 13 year olds. And you're 19. You realize that's six years apart. You're, you're into girls who are barely teenagers. Seriously, what is your issue? What makes you think that this is okay to tweet? What makes you think this is okay to share with other people like they're gonna agree with you? Uh, that is... Ridiculous, you got 14 quote tweets. I wonder what they said about you. I really wonder what the world thought. But now, I'm not even sure. Because a lot of people agree with you. A lot of creepy people on Twitter specifically agree with you. And that is horrendously shocking. That is insanely disconcerting. And it gets worse every single day. The fact that more and more people are comfortable in saying stuff like this. Oh, I'm 19, but I'm into 15 year olds. You're still creepy because you're an adult. I don't know what's crazy about this, I don't know what's confusing, I don't know how these people miss the mark or just miss the memo completely that that is not something that you should be into or at least sharing on the internet. But I guess these people feel comfortable now, huh? A group of girls said a male classmate sexually assaulted them. He was escorted from school in shackles, charged with crimes, and spent an entire summer indoors with an ankle monitor. Finally, the girls admitted they made it all up because they didn't like him. That's just terrifying. The fact that a false accusation can change your life that fast, and probably permanently. This man's story is going to be immortalized on the internet forever, and I'm sure that will appear on his criminal record. And I don't know if something like that can be expunged. Yeah, it's a false sexual assault claim, but it's on the books. And something like this can stop somebody's life. He probably will never be able to have any sort of work in the future. All because a couple of stupid girls chose to mess with him, and claim the worst of him because they didn't like him. Not only did an innocent boy get punished for a, a heinous crime, but these girls have kind of disenfranchised rape survivors and those who have gone through rape, because now people are going to not think that they're telling the truth. That's what happens when you tell lies, 
we're all familiar with The Boy Who Cried Wolf, and now you've cast a doubt on nearly all rape victims. Congratulations, you did that! You, you're, you're awful, you're a piece of shit! You're up there with people who make false hate crime claims, people who commit tax fraud, serial killers, molesters, you're up there with all those terrible people because you went out of your way to lie about something so serious that actually happens to men and women all across this planet. You did it, you lied because you didn't like somebody. And you're probably not gonna face jail time. You're just not, you're, they're probably going to just kick you out of school or serve you maybe a uh, year's worth of community service, but you're not gonna see any jail time. And you already know my position on it. If you make false rape claims, you deserve to go to jail for the exact same amount of time a rapist would. Just so that you would never do something like this again. These poor people live in these tiny apartments. Like I'm looking at his, you know, background and he's got his TV and, and you know. Yeah, mute it. I know it's a shitty apartment. That's why give me this job so I can get a better one. All right. Um, <laughs> ready? Oh my God, I'm so, so sorry. No, it's Lucas. totally, li listen, I'm living I'm in a, so sorry. I'm living in a four by four box. It's fine. Just give me the job and we'll be no, fine. I I'm more no joke, disturbing TikTok trend sees teen girls posing as domestic abuse victims. Don't lie and try to tell me that this is supposed to bring awareness to domestic abuse victims because it's not. It's just another excuse for attractive women to be famous online. This is a TikTok trend that everybody's doing, and if you just look pretty enough with a little bit of scars and a little bit of makeup, oh my gosh, that is so edgy, that is so crazy, you're bringing awareness. It's just another attempt at becoming famous online, and I don't understand this obsession that people have with becoming an influencer or becoming famous online. That is ridiculously lame. That is insanely lame. You get nothing out of that. Your shitty personality and your low IQ does not change when you have a six-figure following account. You're still the same person, but yet you delude yourself into thinking that you're special because a bunch of people give you attention for all the wrong reasons. And just a quick addition, who comes up with trends like this? How is this even a trend? Who does this? Why do you want attention so bad that you're willing to emulate somebody getting beaten up by their significant other, something that happens every day and affects many people and certainly is not a trend to them, certainly isn't something to enjoy for them, yet you still do it. Yet you, you think that this is okay. It's not. Mom who pretended to have cancer to make 45,000 pounds from GoFundMe faces jail time. Wow, that's what happens when you steal from people, especially stealing from people under the pretense of charity. I hope that everybody who donated got their money back and that you didn't spend a single dime because that's what typically happens in these charity scams. A lot of the money that's stolen is already spent and gone. And I'm glad that justice has been served. Thieves like her don't deserve any better than a jail cell. And I'm glad that she's in one. Hopefully all that money is given back to those people, though. My perfect affair and how I'm getting away with it. Tell no one, put nothing in writing, pay in cash, don't drink, and keep off the phone. How to have an affair for nine years and get away with it. Why do articles like this exist? Who reads stuff like this? And who goes out of their way to find stuff like this to find, you know, tips and tricks to be an awful person and cheat on their significant other. Like seriously, are journalists and news organizations so devoid of actual content that they have to go out of their way to write stuff like this? Is this what actually drives clicks? I mean, I know the answer to that question. Clearly people are interested in stuff like this, but the fact that someone would actually go out of their way to detail how they cheated on someone for nine years and then be enthusiastic about it really speaks about their character, right? I have to really remind myself that cheaters and people like this are in the minority, but they ruin it for everybody else because they damage so many people. My ex really out here telling some new bitch that he gave me the world. Run, bitch, he gave me PTSD. Okay, just get one thing straight. That is my ex and also the mother of my child, okay? It's the same girl that cheated on me not once, not twice, but three times, and for some reason I went back because, you know, I'm that toxic, right? Same girl that mentally and physically abused me all throughout the fucking relationship. But for some reason, I'm the bad guy, right? Same girl that refused to get a DNA test so I could know if my son was mine or not for the first six months he was alive. But for some reason, I'm the bad guy. I tried everything I could to make the relationship work, but now that I've moved on and she wants to make it work out of nowhere and I'm not gonna put up with the bullshit anymore, I'm the bad guy, really? This female is the exact reason why I don't wanna get into a relationship again. I don't want to get hurt the same way, but I guess I'm the bad guy for that. 
Please clean after yourself. You can do it. Good money was spent on the plumbing in this building. Quit pissing on the floor. I'm sure all of us have seen signs like this in public bathrooms or just in bathrooms and dorm rooms specifically, like on any major campus. People act like animals for no reason, and I just don't get it. You have urinals and toilets to use the bathroom in, yet you piss on the floor anyway, ruining the bathroom for everybody, making it reek and making it just completely unsanitary. Oh my goodness, my son's therapist refused to let me use her bathroom because of COVID, so I peed in a cup and poured it into the parking lot. One, I'm sure she won't notice that unless it's a small parking lot and maybe it's a summer day and you can smell all of that sulfur and nitrogen. Maybe, I guess you're causing some damage there. But if anything, this speaks about you more than her. You're going out of your way to, I guess, damage her property with your urine because you couldn't use her personal bathroom. And you think that you're the one who won this entire situation, who won this entire engagement. No, you're just trashy, gross, and probably the reason why your son needs to see a therapist. Parrots found stuffed in plastic bottles in Indonesia. Yup, animal smugglers, and unfortunately 10 of those birds died in transit. It's extremely sad the extent that animal smugglers will go to sell exotic animals to western people. You have to really be careful when you're buying exotic animals because you really don't know where they're coming from. So yeah, you with your lemur in your house or really rare parrots, you don't know how they were acquired. And sometimes, a lot of exotic animals are acquired this way through horrible animal abuse and smuggling. This next clip is of a girl going on a Tinder date and it ends poorly. So I have this hot Tinder date tonight. I'm like super excited and he's like yeah, super hot. So uh, we don't really think this guy's real. The pics are too real, good to be guys, true. He's real. Let me show you a picture. So here he is, he's like really hot and he loves to travel, so. So I'm getting ready and we're going to meet at an Italian restaurant. His name is David. So, wish you luck. I'm on my way. My friends are dropping me off because he's going to drive me home and might go to his house, but I don't know. I'm so nervous. So I'm here and I think this is his car. He told me he drives a Tesla, so. All right, I'm going in. Wrong. Right. You bitch. You are under video surveillance. Please stop abandoning your animals here. Thank you. Fun fact, the major city that I live in, most convenience stores don't let you tie up their dogs in front of their businesses because they're afraid that you're gonna leave the dog there. And they don't wanna be responsible for taking the dog to the pound or having to find you because you chose to abandon your animal in front of their business. Ugh. Could you imagine the smell? Oh my God, that's nasty. That's just gross. But truly, the only way you can stop that is through confrontation. You just gotta turn around and just say, get your toes out of my arms. Like, just get it off of my armrest. You have to say it, and if they don't do it, you can always get a stewardess to help you out. Cause you're not supposed to do that. That is insanely gross. How do people not think that their feet aren't going to be seen or touched or experienced by the person in front of them? I guess the person in front of them doesn't exist, right? I'm starting to realize why I never got my deposit back. Has anyone ever had to give back a security deposit? A few months ago, my long-term tenants left my place in surprisingly good condition, and I racked my brains trying to find something they broke, and I couldn't fault them for a single thing. I think it was because it was a newly built apartment. Every other property in my portfolio was an older building with things that sure fell apart. It got me wondering if investing in newer properties is worth it or not if you don't get to keep the deposit. So yeah, to all those living in an apartment right now, I hope you can sleep at night thinking that maybe, just maybe, your landlord is going to fight tooth and nail to find every single issue wrong with your apartment in the hopes of getting your security deposit. Hey, have you ever wondered when you ordered food from DoorDash but you opened the door when they say it's arrived and you don't find any food? This next clip might be the reason why. Mom caught with a gun outside of Disney World blames six-year-old son. So let me get this straight. A police officer detains you 
because you have an illegal gun and to avoid getting arrested and going to jail for having an illegal firearm, you point at your six-year-old son with full earnest and blame him for the illegal gun, saying that it was his and not yours. I have yet to read any story containing a more retarded person. You're probably going to be the first person to come out of prison with a higher IQ than you were going in. <laughs> but in all seriousness, you are a terrible mother. And what police officer would believe you? You really thought that was gonna work out? You really thought a police officer is going to arrest a whole first grader for having a legal firearm when it was found on your person? That, that makes no sense. So a little bit of context. This is a conversation between a pregnant mother and her best friend. Yeah? Can you do me a favor? What's up? Can you pee on a stick for me and send me pictures of your ultrasound? My boyfriend is trying to leave me. Girl, no. Please, I'll pay you. Can you tell me your date to your appointment so I can come up with you and stuff so I can send him pictures of every ultrasound? Because if I tell him I'm pregnant, he won't use condoms no more. And by then, I should actually get pregnant. No. I'm not a lawyer or a police officer, so I, I'm just asking genuinely, is this illegal? It seems very wrong to trick your significant other into thinking that you're pregnant so that he won't leave you. That is so horrendous and so terrible, I'm surprised, I would be surprised if it wasn't illegal. So is it? I don't know. If the, to the lawyers who watch my videos, if you are, that's cool, I have lawyer fans. Could you let me know in the comments down below if that's illegal? And if he were to stay with this woman, and she were to get pregnant under these circumstances, and he were to find out, does he have to still pay child support and still share custody with this kid after he inevitably leaves this woman? Those are my questions. But other than that, yeah, this is really terrible and terrifying the fact that she is willing to scheme in order to keep this guy in her life makes it extremely clear that this dude is doing the right thing yeah you need to run sprint and this friend is being very very nice about it by just saying no and not tearing into her because this is awful i've seen advertisements on craigslist for fake baby bumps and positive pregnancy tests it is really strange and I'd be extremely surprised if this was legal. This next clip is of a woman smashing a whole alcohol section in a store for no reason. I'm gonna go and continue condensing yeah. That's right, everybody. Domestic abuse is funny when the woman's punching the guy. It's a real shame that your username is blocked out, and I'm surprised that you even think this is something worth posting online, and you think that this is something to laugh about, and you find that funny, or you find that revering. He flinches when I move my arm as he should. <laughs> I'm so cute and quirky. No, you're a domestic abuser. You're a terrible person. My mom died the day before an assignment was due in university and my professor would not give me an extension. My professor would not give me an extension because the point of assignments is to give students a gentle push. I was ran over by a train, but she wanted to give me a gentle push to complete my assignment. This was a while ago, but um, our most recent assignment was to tell- I asked her- I just picked my nose by mistake, whatever- um, to- uh, Explain to her how we can get an A in this class. Ma'am, I could get an A in this class if you give me an extension on the assignment I got a zero on because my mom died. Should I already have had the assignment done? Maybe. Do we only have four days to do them? Yeah. Did I spend those four days in the hospital with my mom because she was dying? Yeah. But don't worry because she sends her condolences and she's sorry for my loss. So that's good. No the fuck he doesn't. I've seen pictures like this and I always thought that they were memes, like people taking the flag and actually being ironic about it just to poke fun at map supporters and no map supporters, but no, I was completely wrong. These are completely serious. These guys go out of their way to just apply any sort of famous character or famous person and say Gumball or Etika. I've seen the Etika one. Yeah, that one's gross. Gumball says map rights. No, he doesn't. And hold up. R rights? You want a right to molest a child? You 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 want the legal right and freedom to do that? No, that's not gonna happen. And you know what bugs me the most? The fact that these guys have a flag. The fact that you have a flag for map rights 
or map support. The fact that you guys even do that is ridiculous. The, the fact that you guys even have a community is disgusting and sickening. And you know what? I like it though. I like the fact that all of you guys can gather together. It's easier for us to report you to the FBI. Seriously, just keep making public posts online about your philia and attraction to children because it makes it so much easier for people like me and everybody watching on this video and anyone who is remotely sensible to report you to the proper authorities and make sure that you are under the jail because that's where you belong but in the meantime before the fbi rounds all of you guys up please keep posting publicly like this because online especially on twitter your usernames aren't blocked out and you guys aren't smart enough to not connect your actual accounts to your little map accounts so yeah, when people uh, find out who you are and where you live, don't be surprised when magically someone hits you with a bat. This next clip is of an insecure girl getting mad that her friend smiled in a picture. Look, smile. Why are you trying so hard, dude? Like, why are you trying so hard? Like, this is literally to him. Like, you know I fucking like him. Like, why are you trying so hard? Like, why? Bro, are you seriously mad at me for a picture? I just don't fucking picture? understand why you try so fucking hard. Like, he doesn't like you. I, di I didn't even try. Okay, you but, told like, me you to smile. And I yeah, but you try. Like, you try so hard. Like, why? Like, why? You don't look good. You're being fucking ridiculous. I don't care, It's Grayson. just I a don't picture. Care. I don't care. You know me and him have been talking for almost two weeks now, and I know you used to like him before that, but I don't care. He likes me now. He likes me. He doesn't fucking like you anymore, mm -hmm. and you try so fucking hard to steal him away from me like I know you fucking do, but you have to get over it. Like, hello, reality check. He doesn't fucking like you. Get over yourself. Is Mr. Beast aware of all this? And I hope that there's a lawsuit because this is really bad. The fact that people are going to use his likeness to sell fake stuff, especially scams like this, is not good, and I hope he's aware. The craziest part of this is that YouTube doesn't really just let anybody advertise on their platform. They have to vet your advertisement. So why did they let this happen on mobile? It seems like mobile is the wild west for most ads on YouTube anyway. I'm almost certain you wouldn't see something like this on the desktop platform or on the television platform. It's a serious issue on mobile and I hope YouTube fixes it because this is more than just blatant false advertising. This is explicit false advertising. This next clip is of a Nigerian social media influencer teasing a child beggar with a bottle of soda or something for clout. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is, um, yeah, why? Why would you do that? Why would she mix her menstrual blood and urine into food for Singapore flat? Why would you do that? And what made you think that you weren't going to get caught? That is nothing but DNA. You need to you need to stay in jail for a very long time. The fuck is wrong with you? This next clip is of a guy sexually assaulting a woman on the street for clout and then getting what he deserves. That's a fat ass. That's a fat ass. Fuck off. I'm a fucking sub, man, nigga, what? I truly don't understand how some people can do something so senseless and hurtful. Three of my hives were kicked over in the last two days. These hives are in Ward Meadow. I'm posting this asking for any local townspeople to keep an eye out as you drive by. Call the police if you see anything suspicious. I know one hive is fine, the queen is unharmed. Time will tell for the other two. I saw the people responsible at the hives today around noon, but they ran away. I didn't get a good look at them, but if anyone hears of someone with multiple bee stings to the face, let me know because I hope my girls lit them up. Security measures are being added to the yard. This next clip is of a landowner catching a couple people trespassing, and instead of leaving, the people acted like this. Okay. Keep walking! Yeah. We come here to have a swim in peace! Okay. In peace! In peace! After we fucking dance today on our land! Fuck off! Fuck off! You wanna touch me? You wanna touch me? You touch me! You touch me! You touch me! You touch me! Keep walking! Keep walking, cunt! Go! You touch me! You hit me! I'm up! You touch me first! What do you expect, dog? 
Thank you. You ever use your failing marriage just to make a couple bucks on YouTube? And maybe even traumatize your child? I mean, yeah, screw the kid. This video is going to make thousands of dollars. Because it's only 429 thousand views probably you're gonna only make a grand you're probably gonna make one thousand dollars on this entire film I hope that's enough to pay for her therapy Christmas time is great especially if you're a broke piece of shit because you can just steal people's packages and all their Christmas gifts right off of their doorstep And to end today's catalog of awful, I give you this story. Influencer tricks elderly men into eating soap covered in chocolate, he apologizes. A Colombian social media influencer has apologized after he tricked elderly and homeless men into eating soap bars covered in chocolate. In reference to the joke we recently made that caused a negative reaction from the public, I sincerely apologize to the people involved and to the community, he wrote on Instagram. Oh, everything's fine, he apologized, even though he did something extremely heinous and extremely exploitative just so he can get a few clicks on his Instagram page. No thought about it, this is, this is just a funny thing, they're gonna laugh, people are gonna laugh, it doesn't matter that I'm literally feeding soap to people who don't know that they're eating soap, it's just a joke and it's gonna make me so famous! No it's not. If anything, you're typical. You're typical like every other crappy influencer who goes out of their way to do something crappy because they thought it was funny, all for the clicks and all for the fame. You're no different, you're actually pretty basic, you did a terrible joke. To get clicks you did a terrible prank to get fame and instead everybody else is just upset with you because what you did wasn't funny you could have poisoned them you could have harmed them you're not supposed to eat soap so yeah your little bullshit apology doesn't and shouldn't help build your reputation back if anything people should just unfollow and ignore you leaving you just how you started a zero sum What's up everybody, it's your boy Aileris aka Panda Daddy and I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe fam, what you doing watching videos and not subscribing and if you're old make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. Your boy is back after being banned off of YouTube for a week because of r slash uh, morbid reality 2. Um, I actually am currently appealing that video to see if I can get the strike off of my channel but yeah I could not upload for a week I am back though I wanted to bring uh, a favorite as the first video back after this entire ban this sucks though but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was good and as always I gotta thank the patreon supporters so thank you to Hosmar, Keith Myers, Hannah, Catherine Taylor, Arolina, Eva, John Robinson, Ethan, Noah, Muffy Lou Who, Treyer, Destroyer, Darth Vader 12, German Dude, Rusty Nail in Your Foot, Dustin, Will Billy, Arjun, and Vermont, thank you so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And if you want to help support the channel, there are two links in the description one to my merch store and one to my Patreon. Both funds go directly into the channel so we can maintain what's happening here. And as always, stay zesty.